How does a QR code work? If you've been out to a restaurant pretty much anywhere during or since the pandemic, you've likely been presented with a little black and white box on your table and asked to scan it to get the menu. QR codes have many other uses, including being used in advertising campaigns so people can scan them and be taken to a company's website, and taking people to a specific application in the Apple or Google Play Store when scanned. In some cases, QR codes even put on graves and when scanned, bring up an online biography, including images and videos of the deceased person. So we've all seen them everywhere, but how do they actually work? A QR code is numeric and alphanumeric characters converted into digital squares. The QR code below contains the URL for this channel's video page. If you scan it with another device, you'll be taken there. This URL here, has been converted from alphanumeric characters into black and white squares. When you scan the QR code with your phone or other device, the camera first picks up these three large squares called finder patterns. These tell the device you're using that it's looking at a QR code and where the boundaries are. The alignment marker here is used as a reference point, so the code can be scanned at any angle. If you try scanning one upside down, it'll still work due to this alignment marker. The timing pattern here runs horizontally and vertically from the finder patterns and enable the scanner to determine the width of each single module so it can be read correctly. This section here contains the version information as there are several different types of QR code. The one we are looking at is the most common and is known as a static QR code. The rest of the QR code is the data, in our case a URL. The black and white blocks represent binary numbers or ones and zeros with black representing one and white representing zero. Binary numbers can be converted into alphanumeric characters. Here's a quick example of some letters in the alphabet written in binary code. Your phone reads the data in sections of eight squares, which gives it strings of eight numbers, which are all ones and zeros. If you look back to our table of the alphabet, you can see how each letter has a corresponding string of eight ones and zeros. This gives your phone the alphanumeric characters needed to create the URL. This is how your phone gets the URL from a QR code. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you found this video useful.